Hi guys, Anthony here. I'm coming at you with another back and biceps workout today. We're going to have a lot of fun. There's a bunch of different exercises we're going to cover today. It's not going to be something you've seen before. Starting off with a pull up challenge that is fun to do. I'm going to show you a warm up, a full back and biceps workout, exactly what I like to do. And I'm going to give you my advice and tips to help you reach your goals, but also to help you get stronger. Your goals matter. Let's make our dreams happen. Using a barbell is a great compound lift for your strength. It's really important to warm up. I like to do two to three sets of warm up and I'll use bands and cables to warm up. I like to focus on controlling the weight. The main goal when we lift weights is to always have control. As you guys can see, when I'm rowing this up underhand grip, it's a consistent speed, which is the tempo. My shoulders are back. Keep your elbows in. My knees are bent. I like to wear a belt for support. I like to do small breaths so I don't lose my energy. I don't recommend holding your breath when lifting weights or doing a really, really big breath and then blowing out because you're going to lose all your energy. Give that effort. That was a funny face I was making, but the results pay off. You got to make funny faces to look good. Don't forget the foam roll and stretch as well. Okay, let's get back to the workout. We love training arms, dumbbell curls. I know it's a lightweight. I'm going to see those comments. I'm focused on form. I'm focused on technique. Yes, there's a little bit of a swing, but what I'm doing is I'm keeping that control. There's a consistent speed. My range of motion is key here. See how I'm fully extending my arm when I come down. Now, when I come up, I'm using my whole bicep. I could go slower here, but we don't want to always do the same thing. We want it to be different. You will gain muscle by doing something different every time. If you stick with the same thing, you won't see progress. I challenge you for your work workouts to do some exercises slow, some exercises at a faster pace with proper form and technique. Just don't cheat reps. When we do our curls, it's very important that we curl up to the shoulder. The elbow is in too. Okay, this is probably my favorite way to work out biceps is single arm alternating bicep curl. I like to bring it in to get that chest activation as well when I come up. This way, when I do one arm at a time, I'm actually able to get more from it. I'm able to go longer. I want to fatigue. I want the exercise to make me give up. I want to work hard. That should be your mindset. Obviously do everything safe. I don't want you to get hurt at all, of course, but I want to see some effort from you. You should try to get tired from the workout. You shouldn't give out when you're at 60%. Get to that 80 or 90%. That's how results is made. No one's asking you to go 100% every time. But if every workout you did this past week was 80% or more, you would do a lot better. It's going to be hard. Your body will be sore, but it's time for you to make it happen. That was tiring. Okay, now we're moving on to the next thing here, guys. Now we're doing alternating hammer curls and we're bringing that arm up inside. I find these a lot easier to do. I like to do this when I'm exhausted so I can still work those biceps and really fatigue myself. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe and comment what you'd like to see in the next video. It's not supposed to be easy. You can do this. Let's get back to this grind. My one piece of advice I could give to you if you're really trying to build muscle and lose fat is its consistency. I know that sounds cliche. I know you're like Anthony, I've heard that before, but hear me out. Even if it's going to be a bad workout, even if it's not going to be the best one, still go. Just show up. Do something. Something is always better than nothing. It doesn't have to be a perfect workout. I always used to try to make everything perfect, but you're much better than you think. So don't put yourself down and keep your head up. I hate this exercise in a good way. When I do double hammer curl after doing all those exercises, it actually really burns. I'm actually surprised I'm not winking one of those weird faces again, but you, trust me, it burns. See, I don't have the perfect form. I'm still swinging a little bit, but I'm doing something. It's not perfect. I could go slower. I could do a little bit better form, but I'm doing something. I'm not overthinking it. It's not an exam. You're not submitting it for a professor to review or for a new job. You're doing it for yourself. Ever see those beach workouts where a guy or girl does a pull up and you see how long they can go? I'm holding at that top, seeing how long I can go until I fatigue and give out. Now we're going to be doing the bottom one. I like to train all aspects of the body. I like to test myself differently. It's not just about looks. Being strong is cool too. I start to lose grip here. Oop. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Please subscribe, like, and comment. I hope this video helped. Stay safe and take care.